Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. Today we have an updated election map according to MSN.com. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and co subscribe for more videos. I'm your highly illustrious, everlasting President Ross, and our source today is MSN.com, who is also quoting 338Canada.com slash USA slash... We are going to fill in our election map based on what Canadians think is going to happen on Election Day in 2024. Let's fill in that beautiful map. Washington State with 12 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Oregon with 8 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. California with 54 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Hawaii with 4 electoral votes is is blue for Kamala Harris. Alaska AK with three electoral votes is two clicks red for Donald J. Trump. Montana with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Idaho with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Wyoming with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Utah UT with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Now we have an interesting thing on 338Canada.com when it refers to Nevada with six electoral votes and Arizona with 11 electoral votes. According to 338Canada.com, Nevada is three clicks red for Donald J. Trump and three clicks red for Arizona for Donald J. Trump. So, they have it so close in the race, like 270to-win.com, but 270to-win.com currently has Nevada as red for Donald J. Trump, only one click, which means it uh, heavily leans red. So, 338 Canada barely has Trump winning both Nevada and Arizona, giving him the 17 electoral votes between the two states. Colorado, with 10 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. New Mexico with five electoral votes is two clicks blue for Kamala Harris. North Dakota with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. South Dakota with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Nebraska is red for Donald J. Trump. The first district of Nebraska is red for Donald J. Trump. And 338Canada.com has the second district of Nebraska blue for Kamala Harris. Back to red. Kansas with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Oklahoma with seven electoral votes is two clicks red for Donald J. Trump. Normally it's deep red in our USA polling, but for some reason 338Canada.com has Oklahoma as two clicks red for Donald J. Trump. And here's another interesting take is Texas with 40 electoral votes is three clicks red for Donald J. Trump. Most of our polling has it as two clicks or one click, which is heavily leaning toward Republican Donald J. Trump or mostly leaning toward Donald J. Trump. This is barely leaning toward Donald J. Trump, and I'll explain it more when we get to Florida. Minnesota with 10 electoral votes is deep blue for Kamala Harris and Timothy Walls, giving them the 10 electorate votes. Wisconsin with 10 electoral votes and Michigan with 15 electoral votes, according to 338Canada.com, has Wisconsin and Michigan both three clicks for Kamala Harris blue. These have been flip-flopping in the USA between Donald J. Trump and Kamala Harris, with Donald J. Trump having a lead in both states for three weeks now. But 338 Canada seems to disagree and has Kamala Harris and Timothy Walls leading in Wisconsin and Michigan, making them three clicks blue for Kamala Harris. Iowa with six electoral votes is three clicks red for Donald J. Trump when normally it's either deep red or one-click red, which is heavily leaning Republican. This website's kind of weird. Illinois with 19 electoral votes to the right of Iowa. Illinois is blue for Kamala Harris and Timothy Walls. Missouri with 10 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Arkansas with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump.
Louisiana with eight electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Mississippi with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Alabama with nine electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Tennessee with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Kentucky with eight electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. West Virginia, WV with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Ohio with 17 electoral votes is three clicks red for Donald J. Trump. I'm t this website is very odd. It's completely different than all the USA polls that we have seen so far. Normally, Ohio is two clicks, or sorry, one click for Donald J. Trump or heavily red. It's never been three clicks during this election cycle, so I'm kind of confused. If I sound like I'm going um, a little bit confused, I am. This map is and data is very, very confusing. Indiana, with 11 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Now, going down to the very bottom right of our map, we have Florida, with 30 electoral votes, is three clicks for Donald J. Trump, red. So, I said I would explain this. We have Texas and we have Florida. The reason why I'm just assuming Canada has them so low for the Republican totem pole is because of Californians and New Yorkers moving from California and New York to these two great states and making them more and more blue, which is the stuff they're trying to escape from. And they're voting it in in the states they're moving to so that they create the same problem that they escaped from. That's my explanation. Georgia with 16 electoral votes. According to 338Canada.com, Georgia is three clicks for Donald J. Trump when here lately he's been like over a point ahead of Kamala Harris in every poll. So I don't understand their reasoning for this. But South Carolina with nine electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. North Carolina, according to 338Canada.com, North Carolina's 16 electoral votes is three clicks blue for Kamala Harris and Timothy Walls. That's odd. Virginia, with 13 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Pennsylvania, with 19 electoral votes, according to 338Canada.com, Pennsylvania is three clicks blue for Kamala Harris and Timothy Walls. When here recently, it's been red for Donald J. Trump. I'm so confused according to this website. It doesn't make, uh, their reasoning's not making any sense to me. New York, Vermont, Connecticut, Maine, Massachusetts, Delaware, Rhode Island, and D.C. and the like in New Hampshire are all blue for Kamala Harris. Even Maine, M.E., the big part of the state at large, is blue for Kamala Harris. And the first district of Maine, M.E. 01, is blue for Kamala Harris. And the second district of Maine, M.E. 02, is red for Donald J. Trump. This puts... Kamala Harris at 285 electoral votes to Donald J. Trump's 251, making Kamala Harris, according to 338Canada.com, the winner of the 2024 election. I don't understand their reasoning. I mean, look at who they have as a leader in Canada. Justin Trudeau. Almost nobody likes him, and most of the Canadians are trying to get him out. So why would we trust the Canadian government's opinion on who's going to win the USA election? We won't. They don't even have a good leader in their country, and currently we don't have a good leader in our country. But we will come November 5th or 6th when we install Donald J. Trump back to his rightful position in the USA government as president of the United States of America. So I tell all the MAGA Republicans and all the Republicans and all the independents, Go out and vote for Donald J. Trump on November 5th and make America great again. Who do you want to win, baby? Donald Trump. And why? To make America great again. I'm President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are out. Kamalad.